All right. Here we go. More of my favorite game. Our favorite game. As opposed to the other battle that just ended, you know, um, <laughs> the other person quit. Just the time Still I Vegas. expected. <laughs> Be my yeah, guest, quit. Timekeeper. I still got my rewards. Old me was fierce. That pain feels real. Mm -hmm. You came here sooner than I expected, Kalapuna. Dearly too, my child. I hope you've been doing well while I was away. Hope you're happy with the surroundings I set. I always find it enjoyable here. A place full of memories. <laughs> and perfect for small talks. <laughs> I'd rather you suffered, miss. Ah, someone is having a worse attitude these days. There's no need to look around, kid. I already had a few years of experience in the field before you started your research. And one of the most basic skills <coughs> one has to master in the meditator's realm is to cover up the traces of reality. A what? Even so, you didn't even think about creating a starry sky for yourself here. Cossack. For an astrologer. Hmm. That would be unnecessary. You can see it any time outside this realm if you like. Ooh, there's that. But fake news. <laughs> Why did you invite I mean, me here? Really, it's just you don't want to. Me. Other reasons. I know you've put in a lot of efforts. Mm -hmm. I understand the difficulty within, and sympathize with you, Kalapuna. I always do. Just like what I did with my younger brother. By the way, that letter has been delivered to him safely, I assume? Mm -hmm. You're smart enough not to bring the Vishnu statue with you. Did somebody kindly remind you not to do that? Never mind, that's not helpful. No, it's not why you so mean. I don't understand. Why involve him? Mm -hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Maybe I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. Uh -huh. After all, they precluded me from doing anything even before I give it a try. Although my misfortune was not my brother's doing, there's no one else left in the family to take my anger. Uh. So ask me now. Ask me anything you wish to know. I can tell you everything. What you're curious about. What you're confused about. Anything you can't work out in your little brain. I can explain it all. Mystery of the universe kind of shit? No. Hasn't the idea that I might locate you bothered you for even a second? Locate me? <laughs> ah, 
You are still as naive as a child, my Kalabauna. You little dummy, Ulu. That is simply impossible. This is the first time you doubt my capability. Hmm. You regret that? No. Why would I do that? Of all the students, you are the only child who is smart enough to follow my steps this far. How many others are you? You just don't have time on your side and need a better mindset in dealing with the unexpected. I've tried to teach it to you. Remember those impromptu speeches I asked you to give? Those were good practice. Don't have... What do you mean? Perhaps you have put too much stock in the idea that I will rely on Manus Vindicte in this. Instead, I trust myself more than them. And of course, I also trust you. What's more, they were never good enough for me. But luckily, I have never been a real arcanist or a real human, only pretending to be either of them when necessary. I can easily act like an arcanist to gain their trust, just like I could act like a human when I was teaching at Venna. What are you staring at? Take it, if you're interested. Uh. What? You thought it is the key to cracking the meditator's realm? Like the stone statues earlier? Though it is too late for hints, <laughs> there is one thing I have to remind you of. Yeah. <sighs> you didn't catch up to the real me, nor did you improve the situation by entering the realm. You chased me all the way here, chased the hope of winning against me, but you only helped me complete my plan. The moment you entered the realm, the last step of my plan was done. <laughs> I completed what? As you know, exerting influence on reality through the meditator's realm is challenging. After all, this realm is like the shadow of its real counterpart, a reflection of reality. I went to a lot of trouble even wasted a statue to finally stick out a corner of the shadow over the boundary of the two worlds. You mean the statue in the cave? Yes. What I needed was an outside in force to break the realm, which is almost unbreakable from the inside. A mirror can reflect objects, but there's nothing it could do to itself. It can only be shattered into pieces by people not from the reflection, but reality. Whenever there is a shooting star streaking across the sky of this realm, an equally beautiful star will fall on the real Earth. And guess what? You are the force I'm looking for. No. How? Yeah, how? So the fluctuation I detected, the energy of the celestial body felt by the Foundation girl, are just false alert? Mm -hmm. Oh no. I have to admit, that young girl was not part of my plan. But at least you are on the right track about what happened. If anything is to blame, it's your ego. You were trying to win, but not by saving people. The idea of proving yourself to me outweighed their lives. You must be wondering, how could she lay such a trap with her insignificant arcane power? 
she can barely lift a lump of clay. She must have had the Manus Vindicte on her side to help. All that being said, you don't have to feel yourself to be a lesser version of me. Mm. You're still my best student, my best colleague, and my strongest rival. Well, with some room to improve. Even this time, you didn't lose the game for lack of wits, but for the fact that I know you a bit better than you know me. And I simply have more experience hunting a prey. You and the Manus have never, never thought that. That means if I didn't enter the realm to see you, then things are going to be tricky for me. You would be enjoying a happy Deepa festival, while I would be crying in a dark corner nobody knows of. Why? Why would you? Me too, predictable. Well, time's up. Remember to ask the most important question first next time, chap. Don't thank me for that suggestion, and don't think too much of my kindness. I didn't explain all these things for your sake. I told you everything because only by doing so can I enjoy the victory to its fullest. <laughs> your desperation is a good prize for me. You know I have a bad taste for entertainment. Go back to the Deeper Festival. At least there's one good thing left for you. You will get to see that beautiful shooting star with your own eyes, just like I will. Alfida. Okay, that's a bit dramatic, huh? Rats in its days. Part 11. My ankle hurts no more. You're welcome. Hmm. She's been in the hair for mm, four minutes. 26 seconds. Is this a reasonable length of time? Uh, I remember I once learned about the ideal time length for meditation in one of the elective classes. Um, what's more, she's holding her breath underwater. When there is only one way to the destination, you have no choice but to take it. You have to force yourself to take that painful step and then blame yourself for being such a desperate fool to move and lose balance.
the silver lining is, is just a stagger on the solid ground. And you will eventually regain your footing. <coughs> Bastards. Leave here <coughs> now and get everyone. Did did you see Kuma? What happened? I'm the one to blame. Damn it. I'm such a fool. I should have known that I'm not a match for Kumar. Keep telling myself I did all these things to save the people, to save the village. Against a dummy she set up. I messed up everything for everyone. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. were more sensible than just left this path. The stupid doubt trap. Nothing would have turned out this way. Oh, is that how you see it? Mm -hmm. I assume you think it is this way because you have failed in the mission and thus feel depressed and indulge yourself in some negative thinking. Mm -hmm. Which is totally understandable. Blaming it all on yourself, telling yourself you will be the only one to suffer the consequence so as to alleviate the guilt. Or, you didn't understand what I said to you earlier at all. What? You have to stop it, Kalabona. Remember what I said? You don't have to feel bad for trusting people. And here's another piece. Don't blame yourself for being brave. What did she tell you? You were a fool and you ruined everything? Come on. Both of us know this is not the case. Brave or reckless? Prudent or cowardly? Comments like these could be predictions but most of the time are hindsight. The good news is, we still have time to change that. You know what kind of bears the hunters fear the most? The ones which were once trapped, but eventually got away. Nobody can remain a predator forever. We don't know what will happen in the next encounter. What's more, life is a long fight where we outsmart one opponent and get outsmarted by the other. That's the wisdom of nature. Bears eat salmon, wolves eat rabbit, but eventually, bears or wolves, their skin will become our blankets. A tiger might have strength, yet a rat also has its wits. You don't need to defeat her to validate your victory. You can win this war another way, a way to your advantage. When will the wrestling between a fisherman and a fish begin? When the fish bites the bait.
So, if you still have some strength left in you to get back on your feet and think straight, that'd be most helpful. After all, I don't think we have the time for another round of meditation. The last time I wiped my face with this, I was wrestling with my mom. <sighs> Kumar, she broke the boundary between the meditator's realm and reality through me. I'm afraid the falling star will arrive early. What? There's no other ways to stop Helvin? There might be a way to stop her by locating her in person. But I didn't spot any clue in the realm. And now... We are in a dangerous situation. Almost as urgent as the time when Rama was facing the arrow knocked to a full bow. Instead of getting caught up in nostalgia, we should take action and protect what can be saved. The estimated arrival time of the Foundation backup is... 6 a.m. It will be too late if the meteor really falls early. We need a shelter that can withstand the impact. Also, we have to gather all the villagers. And... and... In the field training, the instructor also told us to... I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I know the way better. Besides, Shadja is not back yet. If anything happens to she, I will not forgive myself I say those words. Hmm. I'm staying. Huh? If I can calculate the range of damage of the comet, we may retreat to a safe location. Every rat has its day. And this rat is doing her best. <laughs> Don't put on a face like that. You are not some rat. I can tell. Hmm. You are the tiger cub. In the meantime, let's not forget, the real rat is still out there looking smug. Watch out for the things I knock off. I didn't do it on purpose. Dead? Your own thing is fake. Hmm. Ouch! 
stop. Relax. No worries. I would go. Change. Oh, damn it. Don't resist. Free. Faithful to the choice of fate. Yum, sum, sum. Hug, mama. Dandang. Si ming, si um. Zanai. Huh? It's already over? I have to say, 
stars crying. <laughs> you brought me a gentle breeze on the field. Okay. Oh, I'm getting sleepy, so I'm gonna call this one. Okay.